Hello, hello everybody. And let me tell you, my day job is kicking my butt. I ain't got time to do much. <laughs> Especially it seems like making videos these days is the thing that I run out of time with. So I have lots and lots of new subscribers. Thanks to the shout out from Mark Shrimp Tanks. Thanks again, Mark, for that. But I thought since with my limited time, I thought I'd do a quick video, a quick tour video. So you can see all the tanks here, Mark Shelley Aquatics. And mind you, I've been working almost 50, 60 hours a week, plus shipping out all my orders. So all the orders and website stuff get taken care of first. Then all the tank maintenance gets taken care of and then making things look pretty is in YouTube videos is where the time has run out on me. So I'm going to show you guys what all I got for all you new people. Now this video is just a blog type video showing you what's going on in my tanks. So hopefully you guys enjoy. So for everyone who's new here, this is my fish tank. Well, I guess it's more shrimp tank closet now, but it's my closet. It is a four foot by 12 foot closet. And I have 10 20 gallon long tanks and eight 40 gallon breeders on this rack. And then five more 20 longs over here five on each side and then the rack of eight 40 gallon breeders let's take a look at what's in these tanks we'll start over here on this 20 gallon long and this is my top top line of reds still a work in progress we're still doing pretty good and look at all the little babies not too long ago I made a video of resetting this tank where I took out all the shrimp I only kept the very 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 best ones and this is look at all the little babies these guys are bouncing back so quick now hopefully the babies are as good as the parents and we'll have some really nice fire red shrimp going on in this one this will be my highest grade red tank and then below the reds we have a guppy tank yes i still have guppy tanks all i talk about is shrimp these days but believe it or not the main focus of my when i started doing all these fish tank videos was guppies and inlers and these days i still keep some guppy tanks because i like them they're fun i've had these guys since the very beginning this is the line i've had the longest of anything I got except for my red shrimp my red shrimp and these come in when I started all these racks of tank well I didn't start all of them at the same time but on my first rack of tanks these are the red mosaics now this tank of red mosaics are the fry that come inside from my guppy tub outside guppy tub from last year and of course the fry have grown up and had their own fry and now we've got a whole, whole bunch in here and then we have a tank below and it is another red mosaic tank and I kept I didn't put all of them outside I kept some in reserve and that's what these guys have turned into so I've got two tanks of these guys and now we've got two tanks down here. I'm going to have to get on the floor to show you guys these tanks. And this might possibly be one of my favorite tanks. This is my highest grade Bloody Marys. Now I don't have these for sale on the website. I have Bloody Marys. But this is none of these 20 longs I have sold out of yet on this side. So when I get to, uh, these are like my personal, I guess you call it, my top of the top of the line shrimp lines that I want to use to make more shrimp lines with when I add more tanks here in the future. And so that's what most of these 20 longs are. 
and also feeder tanks for the Skittles. So when I need some more Skittles tank, some more Skittle shrimp for the website, I go through here and pick out only the best ones out of these 20 longs and I let them breed out, breed out, breed out. And all the rest go in the Skittles tank. So anything that's not phenomenal ends up going in the Skittles tank. So like I said, and below that, these tanks are not, <laughs> everything, all the, all the water changes have been done. Everything is looking good on them. But there's some algae issues. There's some dirty glass issues. This is a blue jelly tank. And again, this is one of the tanks I have not touched. I set this tank up, I believe, in October sometime with about 15, 20 shrimp or so. And I have not touched it since. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds in here. And I have <laughs> a lot of blue jelly tanks because they're one of the most popular, they are my most popular line on my website. MarshallAquatics.com If you can get a good look at this tank And these are really really good blue jellies. These are all my Best of my best when I started these lines I was careful to get the best shrimp I could And these guys are super good and there's a lot of them Wow, look at those Bloody Marys again. That's awesome. All right. I guess we'll go do the tour in the order that I do my water changes. So these tanks get the water changes first. And now the next line, the next rack is the other 520 longs. And so we've got these guys, five tanks. And over here, on the top we've got green jades. Look at those green jades. Now, I do sell some of this tank, not very much, but I try to keep these 20 longs as my, you know, like I said, these are the tanks I feed the Skittles tank with. And my select, select, select. And the next tank down, we have the Pan Blue Guppies, another guppy tank. I've had these guys for a long, long time, and I keep them going because I like them a whole bunch. These guys, for whatever reason, weren't doing so good over the winter, but since the weather's warmed up, we've started seeing more fry. And that always makes me happy. That one's really nice. I like that guy a lot. And here is my newest blue jelly tank. It's then super good. I started this tank, I believe, in November. Around Thanksgiving not touched any shrimp in this tank they're still I started with about 15 20 shrimp in November and they're still doing their thing there's so many in this moss it's hard to say how many is in there they're doing good and then got two tanks on the floor I'm gonna have to crawl on the floor to show you guys those sorry this tank as my backup for my snowballs and I'd say the snowballs like this tank wouldn't you <laughs> these guys are so much fun these snowballs are so strong and prolific I like them so much so easy so easy look at them they're one of the strongest, toughest, most prolific lines there are. The snowballs. And then down here on the floor, we've got a mess tank. 
I have not cleaned the glass in here and like I said you're looking at it raw down and dirty this is what Mark Shelley Aquatics look like when he were <laughs> when I work 50 60 hours a week and cannot now these orange these are some of my best orange shrimp if we can get a there's a lot in here but there's a lot of snails in here this tank I'm not I don't know the shrimp look really really good I have another orange shrimp tank that <laughs> it is by far my worst tank looking but the shrimp do so good in there and we'll, we'll I'll explain that another orange tank another orange 20 I have another 20 along that's not in the closet so that is all the tanks in the closet well all the 20 longs in the closet now let's take a look at those 840s all right we're up here at the top all the way up here by the ceiling and this is my this was my original main blue jelly tank now I've only sold a handful of these out of here in the last three months because I've been selling out of one of my other 20s which is another blue jelly tank that I haven't talked about yet but we got that blue jellies I uh, even though they just keep making more and more and more I just keep selling them and they I don't run out it's pretty cool <laughs> well I did start running out in this tank before I started having all these all this growth back I've had my website going for over a year now and back last fall I started selling a whole bunch of these and I had to put them out of stock for a little bit so that's when I started all these other blue jelly tanks so I didn't want to have to run out of these guys again but there's tons of them look at them oh my gosh they're so nice they're so nice then at the top here we have another orange shrimp tank this is the main orange shrimp tank I sell out of and lots and lots and lots of young shrimp I restarted this tank probably in December January I think it was and I, I was I had a really hard reset and I've, I've been selling quite a few of these orange shrimp but I think they might be out of stock on the website now and I'm not in a hurry to add any more because this is my main tank that I sell out of I have two other ones we already saw the one 20 gallon I have another 20 gallon tank I'm working on but this is I'd say out of all my shrimp lines my orange shrimp are probably the furthest behind but they're always a work in progress and they're always getting better and they're still pretty good they're still pretty good all right now we've got but the tanks on this level they have started to go cloudy on me and I'll tell you why I think so this tank just got a brand new light the old light just kept getting weaker and weaker and weaker and so we got a new light same one as the old one just new and the valves are going crazy I think we're getting we're getting a little bit of algae bloom in the water but these are mixed red shrimp so pretty good at reds there's some there's a few of my old leftover yellows in here but there's not many of those left anymore and we've got dozens of super red bristlenose plecos in here that's the main purpose of this tank but I ended up getting to the point of having too many plecos and when you get too many plecos they're kind of a-holes to each other so <laughs> there's a lot of little guys with like missing tails and dinged up fans because when you get too many of them and I guess in a 40 gallon tank these guys are mean to each other it's unfortunate but there's a lot of red shrimp in here lots and lots of jungle valve this is my main jungle valve tank and then over here we have a 40 gallon blue dreams the moss is kind of and it's going cloudy and this one I'm not real sure 
I think the plecos have spawned again and that is throwing things out of whack. The, the plecos in this tank, I don't want them to spawn. I purposely am trying not to get the plecos to spawn. I've done everything short of taking the males and the females out. <laughs> but they just keep spawning and spawning and spawning and a handful of babies from each spawn end up living somehow in this tank. So we have lots of them in here and I think the light on this tank's about ready to go it needs a replacement I can tell with the Rotala struggling it's time to get another light in here but this light I've had going forever so it's due and we have another guppy project kind of <coughs> green jade coal tank thing going on and short fin and long fin lemon blue eyed plecos of course the plecos are not making too many of appearances but I did see a couple new fresh little babies in here I saw a couple long fin little baby plecos and some short fin little baby plecos there's some shrimp even in the guppy tanks I still got shrimpies in here this is a guppy project I've took one of my gut I took my panda guppy line and did some mixing but now they're looking pretty good now I'm gonna end up taking out all the ones I did a calling video on these guys not too 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 long ago probably well, I guess it's probably been four or five months ago by now but blue panda guppies and then I ended up putting some midnight blue moscows in here for some genetic diversity and to try to get some more flair on the little blue guppies and I like it I like how it's turned out there's a young little male I've got my females looking better by mixing in a little bit of the moscow so I'm really happy with this tank. It's doing good. Now, another one of my favorite tanks is next. The 40 gallon Bloody Mary tank. And would you just look at this, no matter how many I... And as you can tell, the these Bloody Marys, the only coals I really ever get, I gotta take out a handful of these little blue guys a couple times a year. See, I think I saw one up here. Usually, I get them out before they get too big, so they're all pretty little usually. The light blue guys. Yep, I got a dead shrimp. I know there's been several people ask me, what do you do with your dead shrimp? They get recycled back into the colony. Well, it's just unfortunate when you have thousands and thousands and thousands of shrimp and even if they live a full healthy life of a year or two you're still going to end up with several dead shrimp every single day when you got as many shrimp as I do so seeing a dead shrimp is not the end of the world I think a lot of people get themselves in trouble and they see a couple dead shrimp and they freak out and panic and think something's wrong and start changing things and shrimp like consistency I always say that I try to say that in most of my videos you're gonna get in trouble changing things more than you're gonna get in trouble with having bad things so well, this moss does so good in this tank for whatever reason my pilo moss it's the same moss in all my tanks the moss I saw on my website it is all the same moss it just looks vastly 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 different depending on the light source so right here it's got two of these lights right here and it's boom right there real close to the light look how thick and dense this moss grows and you compare it to where there where the light is fading and where I need to replace that light up there in the blue dream tank you can see how it gets long and leggy and reaching for the light 
looks like a completely different moss that's all just different light source all right we got two more 40 gallons look at over here so we go straight down from the bloody mary 40 and we have the ever famous skittles tank so a lot of these shrimp come from when i reset my tanks the tanks i'm trying to breed i have tanks i'm selling out of i have tanks i'm trying to breed the very very best and that make my lines better make better lines in the future and the ones who don't quite make the cut in those or in the tanks i sell out of those get called too and the bad ones come in here and then so there's a lot of really good shrimp in here somehow a really nice snowball ended up in here that's kind of weird but we got some there's this tank always has a little bit of hair algae and that's all right if the tank needs a little bit of hair algae to bounce itself out that's all right the hair algae only grew because it needed it to grow that's what i tell people when they complain about snails like me <laughs> the snails you only have as many snails as you need based on how much food you put in your tanks look at these guys oh my gosh i love this tank this is my favorite tank to just sit and look at all the different colors there's this tank has stuff going on everywhere there's a giant giant crypt it's taken over if you buy Ludwigia, or not Ludwigia, Rotala, if you buy the Rotala off the website, this is usually where it's coming from. And this tank here. Look at all these Skittles. Wow. One more 40 gallon to look at. This tank is the Blue Velvets. It's what I'm calling my second class Blue Dreams, but there's still some. You'll find some shrimp some shrimp that are better in here than there's some shrimp that are almost perfect in here because you take the ones that ain't quite good enough but they come from awesome genetics and they all breed together you still end up getting some really nice ones I started this tank when I decided to start separating my blue coals I still put a lot of blues in the skittles tank but then I want to keep another tank separate of these going to sell those blue velvets that's what this tank is this tank is doing really good and we got plecos in here some long fins super red calicos look at all these shrimp I love these guys I love this tank that one is really good oh my gosh that's like a perfect blue dream there's a couple perfect blue dreams like Somehow they ended up in here. Or they were born in here. <laughs> this tank was started when I reset that tank, the Blue Dream 40, back in, I think it was December. And I took out the very, 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 very best ones and kept them in the 40 gallon. And now the other ones come in here. There's a lot of shrimp in here right now. There's one of the long, thin, blue eye lemon plecos I was telling you guys about in this 40. Look at that little guy. He's a little cutie. Plecos have really weird eyes. There's one of the dads. Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay. We're done with the 40s. Let's go look at the, I guess the guppy pond is next. So here's the guppy pond. I want to sit down and record. Someone won't move. Meow meow. Meow meow has been on vi in videos for a long time on this channel. So if you're new, you haven't met meow meow yet. This is Miss Meow Meow. <laughs> she was a ditch kitty. My daughter found her in the ditch. Going, walking to July 4th fireworks on the side of the highway. She's about five weeks old. We took her in and now it is like four or five years later and she's a family member now. <laughs> so this is the inside guppy pond and this is not the filter running. 
This is an overload of guppies. Look at this. This is just thousands of guppies in here. So all the years I did guppies. And I still, obviously, I still have some. <laughs> this is where, this is the Skittles version of the guppies. So all the guppies that don't quite make the cut for my guppy lines I've had in the past. And of course, now I only have a couple, gu three guppy lines now. I used to have like eight or nine, something like that. I used to have eight or nine guppy lines or more and only two or three shrimp lines. And now I only have two or three guppy lines and... Lots and lots and lots of shrimp tanks. So <laughs> everything's kind of reversed, but this is what we have here. We got, this is also serves as my plant farm. We've got lots of Ludwigia. This is where my mermaid weed mainly grows. And there are, that's all moss back there. All moss back there. This was all moss, but I've been selling a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of moss on the website. And so I've been pulling out a lot of moss from different tanks. No shortage, no worries of running out of moss anytime soon, though. No. <laughs> We've got, let's see if we can. And some of you guys have been around a long time. This is my Anubius growing immersed. This thing is going bananas. Look at how big it's getting now. I love it. I love it. I'm like growing in my DIY five gallon bucket filter. And these sponges are the intakes. And we also probably have, we might have 30 bristlenose pluckos in here of varying ages and sizes and whatnot. You can see there's bristlenose pluckos everywhere in here. There is a lot, a lot, a lot going on in this tank. And I like it a lot. It's pretty cool. Next up is my newest project, believe it or not. This is the 100 gallon Bloody Mary Shrimp Pond. It's a Rubbermaid 100 gallon stock tank. And look at this. It is also a Florida Sunset Crypt Farm. And I cannot believe how fast these crypts are growing. The look at this moss in here. It's shine it out. Shadow out that. This moss is just <laughs> going nuts. I haven't touched anything in here. This tank is this stock tank is still establishing itself, but look at this. I've noticed this thing got completely when it was cycling, it got completely, completely overran with pond snails. And there's some ram's horns in here too. But it just got bombarded the the pond snails went crazy because i only put like 30 or 40 shrimp in here when i first started and there's still tons and tons of little baby shrimp the, the pond snails they're usually not too hard to get rid of and if you look you'll see all these little snails i've been purposely starving the tank well not starving it but <laughs> <coughs> I was putting way too much food in here when I just had a handful of shrimp in here. And now that I put more shrimp in here and the shrimp are making more shrimp, the snails ended up getting a head start. So I am purposely putting less and less food in here. I've probably only fed this tank three or four times in the last week because I'm not worried about making a whole, whole bunch of the shrimp yet. There's plenty of algae and stuff for them to graze on. But I am trying to kill off this, not kill off, but I'm trying to lower these snail numbers down so then when the shrimp numbers can get up and we can compete with the snails. And the shrimp don't, or, and the snails don't have full reign to make as many snails as they possibly can because there's too many in here. But as you can see, we've got lots and lots of really nice Bloody Marys in here. And lots of little snails that we're trying to work on getting rid of. Almost, almost every female shrimp you see in here is going to be buried. And you can tell I love Bloody Mary shrimp. They're not even one of my more 
popular shrimp on the website. But I got a 100 gallon pond, a 40 gallon tank, and a 20 gallon tank dedicated to Bloody Marys. That seems wild. Well, they're one of my favorites for sure because of how true they breed. This one in particular. These guys are awesome. Okay, that's with the ponds. Let's. And these Florida Sunset Crips. And this, these things are really taking off. Look how good some of these over here look. Look at all that new growth. The dimpled crypt leaves. Man. These crypts really are happy in here. They really are happy. So if you want to see how I made a lot of these tanks, if you search through my old videos, this one is not too old, you'll be able to see how I started this up from the ground up from the very beginning. So go through everything I've ever done is pretty much got a video about it as far as all my different tanks and everything. So if you have any questions or just go looking through my old videos and now the old videos are they're not the best, but <laughs> I was doing I'm doing my best now. Like I didn't have a lot of time to do this video and back then that's how all my videos were were bloggy. Now I'm trying to make more I'm trying to focus more and more on the informational type of videos teaching newbies about shrimp and it's done really good for the channel but right now like I'm telling you when I work this many hours because I still have my weekends off and I had to explicitly tell my boss look some weeks I'm making more money on my little side business now than I do at work so I cannot work the weekend and if you don't like it then I guess I'll do my little side business full time and they needed me so that's, I didn't come down to that. They didn't have any, they didn't have too many problems with it. They're real cool with it. I like my job, so that's why I keep doing it. I like it most of the time. <laughs> but this time of year, when they want me to work a bunch of hours, it sure makes this super hard, especially now with all the growth I've had recently and shipping out 10, 15, orders a week it ends up being a big big ordeal when you're crunched for time and that's why the videos end up suffering because when I'm making the when I'm doing work when I'm doing work normally I'll get off at, you know 5 30 or 6 30 and I'm home or in the hotel room and I have all the evening to sit and ponder what I'm doing now is I'm working from 7 in the morning to 9 o'clock at night sometimes. Even later, possibly. And so I'm coming home or going to the hotel room, showering, eating, and going to sleep. And my entire day, I have four days in their complete entirety dedicated to working for a paycheck. So... That is why the YouTube videos have slowed down. And why it's set and we'll have about two or three more weeks like this, but then after that, when we start getting into June, middle of June, things will return back to normal. Alright, let's get back on with the tanks. So here we have the rack of 420 highs. A 75. And the worst tank that I own right now as far as condition goes and it is a mess and i'll explain why the glass is so messy but we've got some really nice orange shrimp in here so let's go back up here and meow meow wants to make another appearance this is my 20 gallon high blue jelly and yes this is the last blue jelly tank you're going to see <laughs> but this is the tank believe it or not of all these blue jelly tanks this is the tank i've been selling out of for the last couple months and it's just, there was a day, a couple, there was a week, a couple weeks ago where I sold out of the 40 gallon for that one week. But this tank just keeps going and going and going. You can tell it's definitely getting lighter as far as shrimp population goes, but you know, 
and still we're at the point where I'm very comfortable with the population being like this. And then right next to that, we got some algae on the glass, but we've got my original Snowball shrimp tank. And if you've ever bought Snowballs off me, this is the tank they come out of. I haven't messed with that other new tank yet. This is Snowballs, 20 gallon. And then here, this is my top line Blue Dreams. You've seen me redo this tank not that long ago. And we've got lots of little babies already popping up. This tank is already repopulating after being reset not that long ago, really. It's doing really good. And then the last 20 gallon high is my mad scientist tank. I am crossing up. You guys who remember this when I started this project will be interested to see how these are doing. But I've mixed some, um, I found these Japan blue red mosaic crossed. It just happened naturally. I didn't do anything to cause it. You can tell they're red mosaics and Japan blue males. And I ended up getting a bunch of little baby females that were too young to be knocked up. Put them in here with those guys. And now they are going to be dropping the first fry in here. I thought I might have seen one a little fry swimming in here, but I haven't been able to find it again. So I'm not sure if it was a fry saw or not. But these little young red mosaic females are hopefully will be knocked up by these Japan blue red mosaic males. That's just a fun project I'm doing. I do guppies just because I like it and for fun at this point. I focus so much on shrimp, I still gotta do the guppies for fun. Oh, and we have a shrimp project going on here. I'm trying to get my own blue or red reallys and blue red reallys. I got, I got one that's kind of a really <laughs> not a very good one but we got one so we've got blue jellies and my reds and if you mix those together you're probably going to get some red reallys and I'm trying to create my own red reallys because I'm super crazy about adding new sh outside shrimp I've gone almost four years now without adding anything new just making more of what I've got and perfecting what I've got. And that's my goal, that's what I like to do. Many of these shrimp you see, I started with 10 of them four or five years ago. And now I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. So that's, that's what I enjoy, that's how my hobby was. And that's how I run my fish room. Super paranoid about bringing in outside yuckies. <laughs> All right, that's the 420 highs. Then right below that, we have the 75 gallon Sakura Reds, really good red shrimp. Looking real good. Uh, I've been selling these guys a lot, a lot, a lot on the website. So this is getting kind of thin, so I was selling them her shrimp and then I started having a pack of them where I made a significant discount and people have been buying them and buying them up and I'm gonna wait till I'm not taking the reds off the website but I'm gonna take the discount 20 pack off it right now because I gotta let these guys breed back out a little bit I've been selling tons and tons of them and then down here on the floor look at this mess <laughs> The ugly, ugly, horrible tank that is very productive. Now mind you, I said this is what my tanks look like in real life, not all prettied up for a YouTube video because my life is too busy right now <laughs> to get them all prettied up. So this is real life. Now, all this stuff on the glass, this just so happens to be the dog's preferred drinking bowl. They also drink out of the guppy pond. <laughs> But they also drink out of here. And we've got hair algae out the wazoo here. 
but the shrimp are looking really good now this orange line is actually a line that I had almost messed up they got completely wild there's a bunch of wild shrimp in there from the ones I missed in the plants and they all interbred with the oranges and it was like half orange half wilds half reds and blacks and blues and you'll still see some blah ones in here some wild ones and some ones are kind of red looking but most of them are pretty good at this point but I was just thinking to myself and my next video will probably me be me talking about tank balance and how this tank is successful even though it looks so bad and why it is balanced and the algae has balanced it so algae isn't always a bad thing especially when you're going for the natural planted tank and shrimp all right so now we've got let's see we've got a 29 gallon guppy tank left and a 75 gallon green jay tank left so this is my 29 gallon tank panda guppies we got florida sunset crips and jungle val really like this tank trying to keep the jungle val tamed at least a little bit in here but this all those um, Florida sunset crips and the Bloody Mary pond this is where they all come from this is where they come from and the jungle val I remember having a heck of a time getting this jungle val started and now it's going where it's not wanted I'm gonna have to go through and pluck that out I even have a divider here so if the jungle veil wants to spread it has to go up over the top all right one more tank 75 gallon green jade shrimp tank so this is one of those tanks I have recently redone and <laughs> the snail populations in some of these tanks are getting to be kind of crazy because I was feeding too much with not very many shrimp being in here for the size of the tank. But look how good these crips are looking. They got big old clump of moss. Moss growing on the filter intake. Another clump of moss. Got lots of green jades. Lots of green jades. This tank's doing good. Now, the green jades are one of the, the lines that... <laughs> As soon as I put them on the website, they sell out. I put them on the website, they sell out. So they might not be in stock for a little bit because I wasn't quite ready to sell my 20 gallon. And this tank has slowed down. So it's all about being sustainable here. I'm never, ever, 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 ever gonna import or buy shrimp to sell. I only sell what I breed and that is what I'm sticking to no matter what. Because I still enjoy the hobbyist aspect of this. this is why, that's what makes it fun. If you're just buying shrimp and selling shrimp, you're just a businessman. I don't see that as being a hobbyist in my opinion. But I am a shrimp breeder. I'm not a shrimp salesman. So everyone, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Now, typically I try to do a little bit better videos these days, but this is the best I can do right now. It's a good long video if you're dying for Mark Shelley Aquatic content. <laughs> There's a lot here to digest. You get to look at all my tanks, so... There's that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I don't think I really talked too much in this video, which I always try to do anymore, but... This is the best I can do. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.